right? Subscribe, hit the notification bell, give it a thumbs up. In this video, I am making brownies. I have one cup of melted butter, so two squares. I'm going to be adding one and a quarter cups of white sugar and then one cup of brown sugar. I've got my white sugar in. I'm going to add my brown sugar and now we're going to mix it. I'm going to add one tablespoon of vanilla to this um, one and then I'm going to add extra cocoa instead of adding chocolate chips so I'm going to do one and a half cups of cocoa but if you're adding chocolate chips add about half a cup with one cup of cocoa adding in my one cup of cocoa now half a cup and now we're going to mix it I just put on two because it's pretty strong. I didn't beat it all the way in because I'm going to add four eggs and then mix it in. Four eggs in and we're going to add a teaspoon of salt. Mix, mix, mix. I don't want it on that. I am now going to add half a cup of cream cheese and I just cut it into little tiny pieces so that it will blend better. And now I'm going to add two tablespoons of oil. Can I add this on? Can I add this? Can I add this? Can I add this? And then I'll mix it and add my flour. Guys, slowing it down. Now I'm going to add my flour and then mix it on low and then I'm going to add almonds instead of chocolate chips. And now I'm just going to fold the almonds in and then I'm going to be pouring it into my pan and then baking it at my preheated oven at 350 for 25 to 30 minutes. So you're supposed to be putting your dry ingredients in a bowl and sifting them and then slowly adding them into the wet stuff but I don't ever do that. I just add it as I go along and mix it all in. Now we're going to let them completely cool down before we cut them and then we will keep them in an airtight container. Like I said, I added half a cup of extra cocoa instead of the chocolate chips and I also added the almonds to it and cream cheese to these ones.